Welcome back, World Wide Web. Welcome to the Hanging With Web Show. I'm G.W. Pometcher. Thanks for logging on and tuning in. If you haven't already, please go down and subscribe for us. And don't forget to check out the description of this video for information about our guests and partners uh, here at Space Coast Comic Con this weekend at the Holiday Inn Express in Cocoa, Florida. We are hanging with D. Ryan Gish, the author of Enthralled. A, how long has this been out there? Uh, since March. It since March. In March. So, mm -hmm. a practically brand new novel. Get there, check it out. Ryan, thanks for hanging with us. Oh, it's a pleasure. All right. Uh, so, I'll tell you what, let's start with the book. Because that's what everybody wants to know about, yeah. right? They want to know where to find the book, <laughs> how to find the book. Where did this come from? It was floating around the ether and it ended up in Ryan's head. Yes. So, I'll give you a little background. It's a, I mean, it's a zombie-esque thriller westernized for lack of a better term it's not really zombies but it came to me over beers just with my friends and it, you know like all good things they just pop the into your head the human animal is a born <laughs> storyteller and a couple of beers it'll do it it will do it every time <laughs> the best so ideas come that, when you're drinking instead beer. of a fish story ryan said that's it i got a i got a almost zombie story mm -hmm. Yeah. So, all right, give us the book blurb, man. What what can we expect from this book? Well, it's a, um, basically, I, I would like to describe it as like a um, uh, mix between the Alamo and Invasion of the Body Snatchers. So it's That's a, a bad day. <laughs> That's a really right? bad day. When you get that call, go to the Alamo, there are, Alamo, there are body snatchers. Uh -huh. Say no. Say no. <laughs> bad Sometimes things. you don't have a choice. Though. There you go. There you go. How are readers responding about this since March or so? So I've, I've heard nothing but good reviews. Um, Great. Of course, I tell people that if they have a bad review, not to tell me. So yeah, that, that it's might usually the it. writer's rule. If yeah. you love my story, <laughs> give me a paragraph telling me how much you love my story. Yep. If you hate my story, I want you to just silently keep it to contemplate yourself. you know, your decision <laughs> to buy it in the first place. Uh, so that's awesome, man. So how long have you been writing and wanting to write? I've been writing since high school. You know, I think I really figured out I enjoyed it and was good at it in my creative writing class in high school. I uh, wasn't serious about it until probably six years ago. And and I, you know, it's intimidating to write your first novel, but, you know, I just kind of wanted to do it. And You know, it's not the writing that's the intimidating part, it's, it's pushing publish. <laughs> it's actually saying... I wish you could just push I publish. want the world to see it, <laughs> uh -huh. you know. Mm -hmm. It's it, the discipline to write the query letter and, right? to, find, and, and yeah. to say, I actually believe that the world can see this. Yeah. The writing of it, that's what writers do. Right. You've, probably, you've been doing mm -hmm. this since creative writing class, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. So you write it down, but then it's like, oh, do I want anybody to see it? Besides yeah. my mom. <laughs> you know, poor yeah, mom. She's, she's got to read everything. everything yeah. yeah, She's got to read everything, right? So um, this is your first one that's out? This is the first one that's out. Okay. Mm -hmm. What are you working on right now? Right now I'm working on several. I have ADD, so I start like in. I get, so you've got I like 17 chapter one. I have, I have like three or four halfway that's awesome. done. So awesome. That. <laughs> hey, that's, that's, that's more focused than a mm -hmm. lot of folks. You know, right. I, I, I probably... Uh, ha I probably have a dozen chapter one through two, mm -hmm. and 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 I have one that's actually you know on its way to yeah. becoming a book again. Uh, but uh, it is it's hard to find that discipline. Is when mm -hmm. you have your ideas are all over the place. Yeah, and, and sometimes you just get kind of spent on yeah. one, and you got to move on to another one, and you can come back to the other one with fresh eyes and fresh mind. And mm -hmm. as we're getting into publishing. Your, your work now mm -hmm. and putting it out there for the world. What was the most difficult part of that transition for you from sort of the hobbyist writer to mm -hmm. I'm, this, I'm going to do this, I'm all in? What's the most difficult part of that transition I think for it's, you? I think it's I'm very self-conscious about promoting myself and just, you know, like uh, self glorification Here, So that's what we're here for. Check you know? it out. <laughs> D. Ryan Gish, great author, 
I haven't touched it yet, but I know. I'm looking at the cover. I know this is a good book. <laughs> you know this is a good book. Buy it. See, that's how you do it. I appreciate pretty, that. Yeah. Really nice. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> I'm almost pretty good at this sometimes. I think we just became best friends. Hey, there we go. <laughs> so, all right. So, here's what we do. We want your readers and fans, and those who would be mm-hmm. readers and fans, the, the, the world is built on a social matrix now. So, mm-hmm. people don't just want to know that you have a great book. They want to know something about Ryan. Mm-hmm. So, we, we scour Twitter, Facebook, Pinterest... Instagram, a bunch of other things I can't pronounce, <laughs> looking for what people want to know. And when we find stuff, we write it down and we put it in a deck of cards. They shuffle them. I don't get to see what they are ahead of time. I look up there. Mm-hmm. And when I do that, I'm going to find out what question I'm supposed to ask you. All right. It can be scary. All right. I'm just we're, The World Wide Web wants to know some Hey, but I'll answer stuff. it. All right. Okay. <laughs> he, he, you heard him. It, okay. I'm going to reword this because of a meme I saw earlier. <laughs> okay. If you were forced to travel with Tom Hanks anywhere in the forced world, forced to, I don't think. Okay, I want to with Tom I, that's what I'm saying. Have you seen those movies? <laughs> I have. You're forced to travel with Tom Hanks. What three things do you want to make sure you bring with you? Oh goodness, um, a cell phone. Good tip. Uh, hmm. <laughs> to bring with me, uh, my own volleyball. Because Your Tom own, Hanks would like hog his and call it Wilson. Or, he would like you know, hold it tight. He would yeah, keep his. I would need my own volleyball. Yeah, you'd need your own volleyball. Um, and I, you know who <laughs> wouldn't want you know a very nice looking woman with you if you're stranded somewhere? Because yeah, really, yeah, see, here's, I mean, what, here, here's here, the only flaw with that thought though is you're with Tom Hanks, he's a movie star, man. <laughs> yeah, but he is. <laughs> he's a, he's an old. Like, he's older. He's older. older. That, as we age, we want to know, you know. I think I could hold my own against there Tom you go. Hanks, uh, uh, There you go. You know? So, uh, good-looking woman. Sure. And well, well your two. Own let's, let's just say two. So, you know. Right, you can, well, I, theoret- <laughs> theoretically, you can give up the volleyball if you've got I could. an extra. Yeah, see. So, uh, <laughs> that good stuff. Um, favorite limerick or knock-knock joke? Hmm. And it is the internet, but let's keep it clean, folks. Sort of a family I have a show. Favorite, I have a favorite real quick joke. All right. Like, uh, all right, pirate walks into the bar with the ship's wheel in his pants. The uh, bartender says, hey, doesn't that bother you? He says, "R, it drives me nuts. <laughs> <laughs> you're laughing. You know you're laughing. Admit it. Leave a comment. Admit it. You're laughing. All right. What's the perfect pizza? You got to write all hours of the night. You're going to be banging away on the keys. You got to mm-hmm. stay up. You phone in a pizza. What do you got to get? That's an easy one. I eat pizza nonstop. I, I can't get enough of it. I do uh, bacon and jalapeno. Bacon and jalapeno. The only guy that's ordering more pizza than a Ninja Turtle. That's right probably here. true. Okay. And I dip it in ranch. Dip in ranch. Wow. <laughs> Uh, I, we had teen children, so mm-hmm. there, nothing surprises me. No. Everything gets dipped oh, you in gotta, something. You should try it if you haven't. <laughs> <laughs> All right. What are two things on your bucket list? Two things on my bucket list. I want to go to Florence, Italy. Oh, wow. And I just love Renaissance art, and I want to see, you know, a Botticelli up in person. Like, that's I, something I've always wanted to do. Shuts me down, guys, because that's <laughs> awesome. That's just, that's an awesome answer. Uh, and, okay, so what what did you do to celebrate your last birthday? My last birthday was around Thanksgiving time. Um, I actually didn't get to celebrate my last birthday very much. You know, just uh, broke. I uh, just, all right, uh, all right, uh, all right. My wait, girlfriend wait, wait. and I just broke up, that's, so it wasn't is, a very good. That birthday. is so sad. That is so sad. All right, behind <laughs> the camera, ladies, ladies, and Michael, come here. Everybody, come in. Come in here. In the oh, camera. In the camera. We're, we're doing hugs. That's happy birthday. It's a belated <laughs> birthday from the Hanging With team. All right. So here we go. World Wide Web, right here for D Ryan Gish. <laughs> Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. And the next one's coming in by somewhere around Thanksgiving. November. Thanksgiving. November. Yeah, okay. So there's your birthday celebration with a hang oh, with team. I appreciate Great it. Great job, guys. All right. Okay. <laughs> 
All right. I'll tell you what, one more time so they don't forget because they're all laughing because mm -hmm. we did the birthday thing. Let's get the book blurb again. What are we, what are we looking for here? What are they going to find when they open this book? Uh, they're going to find a lot of emotion in that book. Um, I, you know, I write what I know. So really, I mean, it's, there's a lot of loss. Yeah, wait, there's wait, a lot wait, of wait. pain. There's a lot of Wild West zombies forward. are not yeah. exactly known by everybody. So, <laughs> but you did, you pour out in a lot of heart and soul. It is. Here, and that's great. Uh, what kind of a, what kind of a lead character are we looking at here? We're looking f at a really flawed and just, you know, kind of a end of his rope kind of uh, guy. You know, he's a, he's somebody that I think a lot of people can relate to. You know, he has a lot of doubts in himself that he doesn't think he could be a very good leader because of some mistakes that and just some well, things you know, that happened in his past. Well, you know, I know my creative writing teacher taught me, and I know yours taught mm -hmm. you probably, that the the core of good fiction is to mm -hmm. find a human truth. Mm -hmm. And and at the end of our rope, we are either going to be our very best selves or our very worst selves. Mm -hmm. So that's an amazing character to build. And yeah. I think it's somebody that readers can relate to because they know so at too. the end of their rope they would either turn into their best selves or their worst selves. Mm -hmm. And so it's it's the the novel everybody is enthralled. A novel. In case you're not familiar with this particular format, a novel. <laughs> it's enthralled. A novel by D. Ryan Gish. Check out the links below to find out where you can find it and uh, Ryan on the internet of uh, social media, etc. Hit him up, like his pages, uh, so you can find out more about upcoming projects. What's next? What's next? I'm definitely working on a follow-up to this one. Okay. And I have a few others in the works that uh, they're not ready to be talked about Top secret. Yet. <laughs> you got you to hang out. You got to go check out Ryan on the web so mm -hmm. you can hang out and know when the next thing is coming. We have to wrap it up, folks. And as we do, we, uh, we love our partners and our friends. Those guys over at Something Unique Magazine, the Florida Book News, Famous Faces and Funnies, Wordfire Press, the guys over at the Historic or Miniature Gaming Society who've been so supportive of us sharing these videos and these artists all over the web. We are at Space Coast Comic Con 2016 at the Holiday Inn Express Coco, Florida. Thanks to David and Jake for calling us in here and letting us be here and, and talking to these great creators. I'm G.W. Pomacher. We have been hanging with D. Ryan Gish, the author of In Enthralled, a novel. Remember, subscribe, log on, tune in, and see who we're hanging with next.